A magic loop or magic ring is a common way to start crocheting things in the round. It's a fan favorite for starting amigurumi, which is the term for crocheted plushies, because when you're done with it, there is no hole in the center. So I'm going to show you the part that makes this magical before I show you how to make the magic loop. When you are done making a magic loop and crocheting some amount of single crochet stitches in it, when you pull on the yarn tail, the hole in the middle of it all disappears. And that is why this is called a magic loop or a magic ring. Now let's learn how to make one from scratch. So take your yarn and pick up your yarn tail with your right hand. Then face your left palm to you. You're going to hold the yarn in front of your palm and then wrap the yarn once around your pinky so that now the cutoff part of the yarn is behind your hand. Now drape that yarn over your index finger and loop it once around your index finger as well so that it makes an X in front of your index finger. So at this point, the yarn tail, the cutoff part of the yarn should be in front of your palm again. Hold on to that intersection point with your thumb and let go of the yarn tail. You're gonna use your newly freed fingers to slip this loop off of your index finger, but you're still holding on tight to that intersection point. Now grab your hook and stick it into this loop from the right to the left. And what you want to do is face the tip of the hook away from you, stick it through that loop, and then grab on to the yarn that's draped around your index finger with the tip of your hook. We are going to bring that yarn through the loop that we just put the hook into and notice how as I do that, not only do I do that, I also rotate my hook to face me again. So now I have a loop on my hook and it looks a little bit twisted and I've got my hook facing me. Last step here, let me rotate my hands so you can see what I'm doing over here. I am using my middle finger to pull on the yarn that was draped on my index finger a little bit to make it a little tight. What I'm going to do now is called a yarn over. So I'm going to bring the hook down below and behind this yarn. So again, I'm grabbing onto the yarn with the tip of my hook and the tip of my hook's facing me. And then I'm going to let this yarn move over my fingers so that I can pull it through the loop that's on the hook. And then the moment it clears that loop on the hook, I'm going to push my hook off to the side, off towards my yarn hand so that my new loop on my hook is nice and secure at the base of my hook. And if you did everything correctly at this point, you can let go of your piece and everything would stay intact. Hurrah! This is the magic loop. But you never just want a magic loop. A pattern will always tell you to put some number of stitches in it. Usually some number of single crochet stitches in it. So now, how do we put some single crochet stitches in this loop? One, you can let go of everything and readjust your hands back into crocheting position. So however you normally hold yarn, I'll show you my way, which looks a lot like the way that you just held the yarn to make this magic loop. You have your piece in front of your left palm and then wrap the yarn connected to the yarn ball once around your pinky. So now the piece winds up behind your hand. Then drape the yarn connected to the yarn ball over your index finger. And now this is super key. You're going to hold on to this little loop as well as the yarn tail with your thumb and your middle finger. And you want the yarn tail, that cut off piece of yarn, to always stay on the left side of the circle that you just made. And I'm only going to hold on to the bottom half of the circle. I want to leave the top half open so that I can put my hook into it. All right. So now we are going to stick some single crochet stitches into this magic loop. So take your hook, which should still have one loop on it and put it into the middle of this circle from the right to the left of the circle so that it should look like there's three strands of yarn on your hook. The loop that was on it, the left side of the circle, and the cutoff piece of yarn. At this point, the tip of your hook is facing you 
and the hook is in front of the working yarn, the yarn that is between your index finger and the magic circle. Now we're gonna yarn over again. So bring the hook down below and behind the working yarn, tip of the hook still facing you, and bring that yarn only under the first two strands of yarn on the hook. So to do that, I'm gonna rotate my hook down a little bit to make sure that I don't lose the yarn as I bring it back through the loop. And then I rotate my hook to face me again the moment I make it back through the circle. And notice how I have two loops of yarn on my hook now. I'm gonna push my hook off to the left. That way I don't accidentally lose the new loop I made. And I want this new loop, by the way, to be about the same size as the tip of my hook. Halfway there, we're gonna yarn over again. So your hook should be in front of the working yarn, tip of the hook facing you. Bring the hook down below and behind the working yarn to snag it, and then pull that yarn through both loops on the hook this time, making sure that you're not twisting any of the yarn as you do this. And ta-da, you should have one loop left on your hook. That is the first single crochet stitch in your magic loop. And little quick tip here, sometimes people don't know where the first stitch of their magic loop is when they have to start crocheting the second round. So if you have a stitch marker, I would recommend pausing here and using the stitch marker to mark that stitch you just made. So to see it, you're going to flip your piece like the page of a book to look at the rim of the circle. And if you look at the loop on your hook, that loop traces back into a V. That V is the top loops of the stitch you just made. So you wanna stick your stitch marker under just that V. So only under those two strands of yarn. Okay, so now you know you've made stitch number one. Get back into crocheting position. This whole time you're always gonna be holding on to the magic circle with your thumb and your middle finger, and then making sure that the yarn tail is on the left side of the circle. So we're just gonna repeat this however many times your pattern says. So stick your hook into the circle from right to the left. So it looks like you've got three strands of yarn on the hook. Now the tip of the hook should be facing you and the hook should be in front of the working yarn. Yarn over by bringing the yarn under and behind the working yarn and pull that yarn back through the hole that the hook just went through. So only under the first two strands of yarn on the hook. So now you should have two loops on the hook. Yarn over again by bringing the hook down below and behind the yarn connected to the yarn ball, and then pull that yarn through both loops on the hook. So you're left with one loop on the hook. Great, you have made a second single crochet stitch. So you're gonna keep repeating this however many times the pattern says and one thing I wanna show you is that feel free to readjust your grip so that the magic loop doesn't twist around as you crochet. So at this point, for example, I could hold on to my loops with my hook hand and let go of my piece temporarily so I can hold on to the piece closer to the hook so that I have some more control. This way, I make sure that the magic loop won't twist. If you have a twisted magic loop, when you get to the end and try to close the hole in the middle, it won't work. Okay, so here I have one, two, three, four, five, six single crochet stitches in my magic loop. And it looks nothing like a circle and that is a-okay. So I'm gonna let go. I don't need my hook or anything at this point. So I'll just put that down so you can see things more clearly. And now for the magical part. We are going to hold on to the stitches we made with our hook hand, the top loops of those stitches, so just the Vs, and then hold on to the yarn tail with your other hand and pull those two sides apart. You probably have to pull harder than you imagine. Pull it tight until there is no hole in the middle of your piece. And now this looks like a circle. So now when you're going to start round two, because you would pause and put a stitch marker in the first stitch that you made in your magic loop, 
you know that this V, the one marked by the stitch marker, is the spot where you want to put your hook to start the next round. 